And the mirror is like, well, nobody's going to want to marry you. The doctor couldn't take your scars away. God couldn't take your scars away. Obviously, you're going to be ugly forever. When I got burnt as a two-year-old, we were burning garbage. A spark came out and landed on my dress. And I got burnt to most of my body. And then I went to school. And as you can imagine, you know how we get called all these horrible names. Well, I remember in grade five, I walked past my teacher's desk and I saw a picture and it said Scarface. And when I saw that picture, I knew that the kids were calling me the ugly Scarface girl. And I was devastated. I just wanted to be beautiful. And I would say, dear God, please don't make me wake up in the morning. But if I have to, can I at least be scarlet so I can be pretty like all the other girls? When I was 18, it was time to graduate from high school. And my grandma says to me, Kelly, I will make you any dress that you want. And I said, okay, can you make me a white dress? What my grandma didn't know is the reason that I wanted to wear a white dress was because I figured this might be my only opportunity to ever wear something that might look like a wedding dress because I figured I would never ever get married. And the mirror says to me, you're too ugly. No boy's gonna wanna take you to grad. No boy's gonna wanna be your prom date. But I wanted so badly to wear that white dress. And so I asked Paul to be my date. And maybe my mirror's wrong. Maybe I'm not so ugly. I didn't even think I'd have a date for my prom. But he said yes to me. And I was like, awesome. Awesome, somebody wants to be my date. And I realized one thing. I'm not this ugly Scarface girl anymore. Neither of us are ugly. That mirror does not talk. Those feelings are us. They're in our hearts. They're in our head. We are the ones who are in control of our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions. So you can imagine, I never thought I'd ever get married. But I did find someone who married me. And I did end up having three beautiful kids. And it was so beautiful having a daughter because I always wondered, what would I look like without scars? And having my daughter gave me an idea. Quit comparing yourself to other people. Every single one of you has an amazing power and energy inside of you. Every single one of you have differences. Let's celebrate those differences. Those differences are what makes us unique, special. Those differences are what make us who we are, the beautiful, incredible people we are. And even though I knew the kids were calling me the ugly Scarface girl, I am Kelly, and I am still beautiful.